So here's the story. So I had done shows before you know, in, in, in Texas, and I had never done a show in San Antonio. So the original plan was we wanted to record a special in San Antonio for the new Netflix show, you know, for the series. So we couldn't really travel too much. And remember, they kept telling us, stay in your bubble. Stay in your COVID bubble. Don't forget to stay in your bubble. So in order to be as proactive and just careful, we all went out there together as a team, OK? And then we all basically said, we're going to do a residency in San Antonio for 30 days, 30 shows and 30 days. And on the last day, we'll record a new special. This way it gives me a chance to start performing again because it'd been, you know, it'd been over a year since I touched the stage. And so we get there and uh, they, uh, they gave me the option. Do you want to stay in a house or do you want to stay in a hotel? And I said, well, I've never lived in Texas before, so let's see what a house feels like. So they got us like this fancy Airbnb and basically, you know, <laughs> it was Martin, Alfred, my friend Rick, myself. It was like four of us. It was like the Mexican version of the real world, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so we're all in this big house together. Everyone gets their own room. And so, of course, I get the big room because it's me. And, you know, <laughs> look at something. No, yes. So I open up the door. I turn on the light. Click. And I'm like, this is a beautiful room. Wow, look how big it is. And then I notice there's a hole in the wall. And I said, that's weird. So I get really close to the wall. And when I got close, I, I realized it's not a hole. It's a big ass roach. <laughs> and let me tell you, I am not exaggerating when I tell you that that cuca was this big. That roach was this big. Now, I have used this unit of measure before to exaggerate. And let me tell you, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you that freaking cucaracha was this big. And I don't want you guys thinking, oh, what, you think you're, you're too good for roaches? No. I grew up with roaches my whole life. My mom and I, we lived in apartment buildings, projects. We always had roaches, but they were different. First of all, they were this big. And California roaches are very different. Okay, for example, when you turn on the light, they scatter. In Texas, he chilled. In California, they respond to sound and movement. Ah! Scatter. I tried my California technique on this Tejano roach. I said, ah! And the roach was like, what? Oh my God, I don't think he's in my room. I think I'm in his. <laughs> and at that moment, my tour manager walks in the room and she's like, is everything okay with the accommodations? I said, no, the room is beautiful, but um, look at the wall. <laughs> Aw, there's a hole in the wall. <laughs> I said, get closer. <laughs> she gets up to the wall and she's like, oh, it's a big ass roach. I said, you're okay with that? She said, he's not in my room. <laughs> she can see that I'm visibly bothered by this roach. So she's like, would you like me to take care of your little friend for you? <laughs> and it is a little emasculating because I'm a big guy and she's like 5'2". So she's like, move, fool. <laughs> she takes off her shoes, she grabs it, she gets up on a chair. And she brings it back, and she's like, you know, soy la 69. <laughs> Bam! Nailed that roach. Threw down her shoe, put it on. I look at the wall, and it kept moving. <laughs> and I said, you have angered our friend. And she was like defensive. Uh-uh, fool, round two, round two, round two. So she grabs her shoe, gets back up on the stool, and she brings it back. And just as she's about to nail this roach for the second time, that shit started flying. 